I bet that maybe you're too smart to figure out what's wrong in your life. I say that because sometimes we think everything needs to be complicated in order to be solved or fixed. The problem with making your life so complicated that there's no solution, that no one can help you, that it's just too big, that's an excuse not to take action in your life. That's what's holding you back. That's what keep, That's what's keeping you upset. That's what's keeping you fine when you know you're not fine. You know something's wrong, but we keep our heads so far up our butts that we're getting high off the fumes from our own poop instead of making progress in life. And I say this because it's true to me and also because like I have been stuck for a while. You know, I'm Latia and I am a data engineer and I live in New York and I also love looking up personal development, like seven habits and everything. I've been reading personal development since I was a kid and I have an amazing life. I'm making about 6K a year, I am living on my own, and I'm doing amazing things. And I know I could be doing better. And the thing about it is that like, it's so fascinating to me because for the last, like I was just talking to one of my friends last night and for the last, like most of the time I've known him, he's like, you know, it is obvious that you are in such a better place than you have been, that you make strides so quickly and like different calls that we have because sometimes we talk every day and then sometimes we talk every few months and he's just like you are making so much progress in your life like you are changing you're definitely happy now when I first met you you weren't quite happy back then and I have faith in you and so I've been at this growth summit I've been having a great time I'm like meeting these people who are pleasant surprises and like so refreshing because they're really willing to be of service and to listen and to be there and to question and to take what I say and create something from it. And not only that, but I met Evan Carmichael and it was like amazing to see not only hints of my idol and my current role model, Brendan Burchard, but I also saw myself and the way he thinks and approaches challenges and uses data and understands that you have to change and optimize your life instead of just accepting, huh, oh, life could just suck. It's okay if things are bad. I don't mind giving up my time to people. He makes choices that most people will look at and be like, wow, that doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? And he has an explanation for it, understands his intention, and is very conscious about what he's doing. And I just find it incredible because most of the times what we do is, you know, like for me, I know I would love to be an international, inspirational speaker, coach, author, and socialite. That is my dream. I would love to be Oprah mixed with Rihanna mixed with Beyonce. I will want to be fierce, empowered, and articulate, yet enlightened in the best of ways. And I've known this for years. I've known that I've had book titles in me. I've known that I have, you know, presentations in me. I know I have messages in me. I know I have the seeds of greatness within me. And usually it, like when people talk to me, it's like, well, you know, like most people are just impressed that I know what I want. And it's like, oh, so such clarity. I see you writing in this magazine or doing that or being on this bestseller list or that. And I'm like, thank you, that's amazing. And not really, <laughs> like it's easy to have dreams and ideas and it's tough to implement and put them into action. And when I had a coach recently, this coach would be like, well, what concrete steps do you need to take so that you can become that? And usually for me, I'm like, I don't know. One, something hadn't clicked into place to where I was like, mm, clear, this is what I am. This is who I am and what I do and how I impact the world. This is my mission. This is my purpose for doing this. And without that purpose, it's hard for me to show up in purpose and with intention to make a difference. And two, now that I've like done this program, not even a program, but like this weekend, 
we're being exposed to the mindsets, the marketing and the momentum that you can generate when you have clarity on who you are and from this place of knowing me, I know how to interact with you and I am powerful and empowered. And so within a day, within like, like 24 hours basically more or less, it went from, oh my gosh, I know sex, I know mindset, I know personal development. I understand these things. I've been researching since I was a kid. I know who I am. I just don't know how to tell people, but I know how to show up in enthusiasm and honor my goal and intention. And also I know how to be of service to people who have been hurt and harmed and don't know how to find their way in life. The people who've had to fight to feel okay, to fight for their existence and who they are because it feels like nobody cares about them. And I've been in that space. And now in having one, like two really great conversations where I got to be the center of attention and I got to be the one like, this is this idea, idea, idea. And it's like, wow, why do you have so many ideas for me? Why don't you get some for yourself? And you take some action instead of making me do work. And then the other one was, oh, you wanna be a thought leader on YouTube? This is how you do it. Step one, two, three and this is how you track it, and this is what you care about, and this is what you research, and like do these things consistently from a place of love and service, and you will make it your mission and your mark in the world. Like I know the followers are going to come. I know people are, are gonna be attracted to me. I know I'm gonna make a huge impact on the world, and I've, I've, known, I've known it since I was a kid. Like My biggest challenge in life was like, mm, you think that cousin is gonna be the wealthy one in the family? You're, you're sleeping on me. I'm gonna prove to you one day that I'm the millionaire, the billionaire, the multi-billionaire in this family, and you bet on the wrong course. And I'm gonna be so big and great as a person, I'll still be nice to you and be, eh, it's okay, you made the wrong bet. It's not where you started, it's where you end. But. If we want to start like moving forward in life, you have to take your head out your butt, face your poop, and have people who are willing to do that for you. Because if your head is up your behind, most of us are delusional to some extent. It is hard to be 100% honest with yourself and know where you are and what you need to do. But if you are honest with yourself, you know where you're not happy, you know what's not satisfying you, and if you stop being lazy and start taking action, you can research and figure out how to fix it. But what we do is we wait for someone else to say, oh, this is how you build the mastermind. This is how you put your YouTube together. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. But we don't realize, people tell you all the time, you just don't do it. That's the problem. And that's where you need to face your crap. Like, look at your poop. What is like, take your head out your butt. Ooh, reality, ooh, wow, something. Actually, you won't know that something smells at first. So you're gonna need someone else to see and be like, oh, wow, you're covered in poop, my friend. Um, let me help you with that. Like, let's, let's get you cleaned up. And it's not like a physical dirty where it's like your body's dirty and you need to clean your clothes. It is like your soul is dirty. You are out of integrity with yourself and you can't see it because you've been pretending to be something you're not for so long that by now it, it, it smells familiar. You, you don't know the smell of your own poop. And it's just a start. It's okay that you're delusional. It's okay that you have friends who are not willing to challenge you and let you know, hey, you could do better. Because if we had someone to say, wow, like that's a problem. How are you fixing it? What are you doing to like take action? Like how are you gonna give yourself space to like create something new, better, like more thoughtful, whatever it is. And most people are like, I don't need to change anything. There's no problem. Who are you to come at me like that? So we have yes people who surround us. And we know what happens when we have yes people and like, oh, that's great, that's amazing, that's so wonderful. I don't want yes people around me. I want you to push me, challenge me, grow me, because I am accountable for myself, my life, and my actions, and my results are the fruits of my labor. And I like to work darned hard. I am very much a passionate worker. And I felt super blessed because life has come easy to me. But when I look back, I'm like, oh, I put work in and I'm willing to put more work in and I will do whatever it takes so that I have the character and the preparation for the blessings that I know are coming. The last thing is, like after you've confronted that poop, you just take action to stay clean, stay aware of your reality, stay like up to date on like, 
what do you like what do you not like what do you need to do because once we like get to a place and it's like you know you're not always going to be delusional delusional but like confront the truth admit to yourself what's wrong admit to yourself what's not working admit to yourself what you know like wow like something doesn't feel right like i'll be honest right now i am i don't feel like i'm crushing it at work but i'm crushing it at work i'm doing this youtube every day and i'm learning growing and i'm like I'm, I'm like i'm ready for that next level like get me out there and i have not taken care of myself my hair hadn't actually been done in a bit but because it's a fro it looks okay but it's like ooh, i need to like really like confront that and i need habits for it i also like my house i don't have furniture yet and it's not bad like i've only been there since you know like the 13th or 10th or whatever but it's a process and I'm like, okay, I'm not taking care of my household. First rule, your house needs to be in order. So I'm like, all right, it's time for me to like, how do I take care of my house? How do I take care of myself? What kind of schedule do I need? What action should I take? Because once I am in order and aligned with myself and I learned like, how do I stay balanced? How do I stay focused? Now I can take action to make them habits. I can make sure it's in my calendar and a nugget from Evan Carmichael is your calendar needs to be your, your dream, your vision board. If your calendar is your vision board and the actions you're gonna take are what is producing the habits and like the dreams and the goals and all the things, I was just like, gold, you know? Brendan Burchard says it too. And I'm just like, I love my calendar. I remember like a few months ago, like being in um February, like March, being in March and writing down like, March 25th, I'm getting mouth surgery. This is my last day at my job. This is when I'm moving to New York. This is when I'm doing this program. This is when I have my first pole competition and my first day at work and my pole camp and everything. I like, I look at my calendar, the month view, and I get so excited. I'm like, bet, I'm doing a cleanse. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I can step up my game more and I'm about to, like I'm on top of it but I had to confront something's not right or this is what I want or whatever it is. And you just do it. Life is so simple. We're just afraid to admit who we are, but we want people to love us for our truth. We just have to practice getting back integrity with our own truth, dreams, and spirits. And you've got this. If I can do it, the child of divorce, parents, the, you know, broken family, whatever, like you can do it too and whatever your circumstance like your tale of woe is gold you can be a victorious person instead of a victim if you're willing to get off your butt and go after it now that is why we are so full of crap and need to just take action like let life be easy it is a practice a habit and intention